Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing, and please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to. So today I'm going to be reacting to what does it take to be a true Muslim? If Muslim, if Muslims pray five times a day, then why do Christian? Why do the Christians? And others the title ends there so that's what I'm going to be reacting to find us on Facebook and Instagram as funny and Jesse check out our second YouTube channel called funny and Jesse 2.0 hit there subscribe and enjoy the content that we actually put out so without wasting time let's get into the video Assalamu alaikum uh, my name is Leon John and uh, firstly I'd like to thank my friend uh, Nurullah for bringing me here and uh, giving me this opportunity to here are some wonderful teachings from you. Now, I've got two questions to ask. First is, what does it take to be a true Muslim? And the second question is, Muslims pray five times a day. Why don't uh, we Catholics and other religions pray five times a day? Is there any explanation for this? Brother, I have two questions. First is that, what does it take to be a Muslim? What is the requirement? And second is, why do Muslims pray five times, Catholics pray less? What is the reason? As far as what does it take to be a Muslim, as I mentioned earlier, Muslim means a person who submits the will to God. So if you submit your will to God and follow the commandments of God, you are a Muslim. The number one thing is that you bear witness that there is no God but Allah, no God but one true Almighty God, and you bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is the servant and the messenger of this God. This is the basic faith. It is a fundamental creed known as Shahada. So once you say this, you enter into the basic fundamental creed. And to be a good Muslim, you should submit your will to Almighty God. So if you follow the commandments given by Almighty God in the Quran and the teachings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the authentic hadith, then you'll be a good practicing Muslim. As far as the second question is concerned, why do Muslims pray five times and we Christians, we pray less? The reason is, we Muslims, Salah is a sort of programming towards righteousness. See, normally people, they say pray. Pray is not the right translation of Salah. Pray means to ask for help. In Oxford Dictionary, pray means beseech. In Salah, we don't merely ask for help. Besides asking for help, we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In other religions, they only ask for help. In Islam, besides asking for help, we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, if the Imam, after Surah Fatiha, he recites the verse of the Quran, of Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 90. Ya ayyuh ladhina amunu, O you believe, inna mal khamru al maithuru, most certainly in toxins and gambling. Dedication of stones, divination of arrows, rich some minamili shaitan. These are Satan's handiwork. First, the nibul lalukum tufliun. Abstain from this handiwork that you may prosper. Here we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in our salah that don't have intoxicants, don't gamble, don't do fortune telling, don't do idol worship. These are Satan's handiwork. Abstain from it that you may prosper. So, besides asking for help, Besides asking, we are getting guidance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and we are thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So I prefer calling salah as programming towards righteousness. And if you analyze today, the amount of evil we see around us, you know, bad things happening, evil thing, obscenity, cheating, there are high chances that we can get deprogrammed. How a doctor tells you, for a healthy body, three meals a day. So our Creator, Almighty God, knows that we have to be programmed five times a day so that we will be on the straight track. So He is our Creator, He knows that. So if you are a true Christian, even you should offer five times. You know why? Because if you read your scriptures, the book of Acts, like how we do ablution, Surah Maida chapter 5, verse number 5, that you have to wash your hands, wash your face, Rub the head with water and wash the feet up to ankle. Similarly is mentioned in the book of Acts. Similarly in the book of Exodus. 
that Aaron and Moses, they washed their face and hands before they appeared in front of the Lord. Same thing, the basic part of Sijda, the Sujood, if you read Genesis chapter number 17, verse number 3. It says that Abraham fell on his face and prayed to God. In Numbers chapter number 20, verse number 6, Aaron and Moses, they fell on their face and prayed to God. Joshua chapter number 5, verse number 14, Joshua fell on his face and prayed to God. If we read the Gospel of Matthew chapter number 26, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, in the Garden of Gethsemane, he took a few steps forward and fell on his face and prayed to God. Can an acrobat fall on his face and pray to God better than the way we Muslims do? When you do sujood, we put the highest part of the body, the forehead, on the lowest part of the ground and say, Glory be to Allah, the Most High. Glory be to Allah, the Most High, thrice. So all the prophets of the Bible, they prayed the same way as we Muslims pray. And Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said in the Gospel of John, chapter number 16, verse number 12 to 14, I have many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now, for he, when the Spirit of truth shall come, he shall guide you unto all truth. He shall not speak of himself. All that he shall he speak. He shall glorify me. Now, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that wait for the Spirit of truth, talking about Muhammad, peace be upon him. And there are various references of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in the Old Testament as well as the New Testament. If you read the New Testament, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 18, in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 18, verse number 19, in the book of Isaiah, chapter 29, verse number 12, in the Song of Solomon, chapter number 5, verse number 16, all of these references speak about the coming of the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Even in the New Testament, Gospel of John, chapter number 14, verse number 16, Gospel of John chapter number 15 verse number 26 Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 7 Gospel of John chapter number 16 verse number 12 to 14 All of these references speak about the last and final messenger prophet Muhammad peace be upon him So if you're a true Christian If Christian means a person who follows the teachings of Jesus Christ peace be upon him We Muslims are more Christian than the Christian themselves If you're a true Christian You have to follow the teachings of prophet Muhammad peace be upon him And do ablution before Salah You should do sujood and you should pray five times a day. Hope that answers the question. Thank you. I appreciate that. It's, it's like today, um, my reactions are just something else. My camera keeps on falling. This is, I think, the third time that I'm restarting this video. But I hope it comes out right because I've tried my best to keep it in one position. So um, I guess it doesn't take much to be a true Muslim because he said, although it would be much to other people because he just said uh, you just have to believe that there's only one God and you believe in Muhammad as being a, a messenger of God and but yeah, that's pretty much it. When it comes to praying, um, how many times does a Christian pray? And how many times does maybe a Jew pray? Um, sometimes, like he said, some, it's programming. If you've been programmed to pray three times, you make sure that you actually pray those three times. If it's five times, that's always going to be the case for you. And if it's ten times, that will also be something for you. It's actually easier to deprogram someone or something than to program them because you're learning a new habit, sometimes learning something like going to the gym may, may be tough in the beginning, but once you get used, you get used. But once you fall off that thing that you are doing, you find it hard to go back and do the same thing. My camera needs to stop falling. But otherwise, um, so yeah, that's that. Otherwise, I'm trying to think, if you want to pray more than uh, three times, two times, one time, then you can do that. Also... I wanted to find out what kind of prayer we're talking about. The prayer where you just isolate yourself and speak to God, or does the prayer you say when you're eating, your breakfast, your lunch, your supper also count for Christians? Your response to that would be very much welcome. So yeah, if there's anything you guys want me to react to, drop the name or the link down below and I'll be more than glad to react to it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next reaction video.